Hello, everyone. Ginkgo says hello as well. Hey, bud. Sniff the camp? No, no, not going to sniff it. Um, this tutorial, I've had lots of um, questions about uh, hand movement. Well, not really hand movement, but like people saying that I have like the steadiest hand or something like that. And um, how do I get such straight, smooth lines? So I wanted to show uh, a technique that I've learned and is a really big game changer as far as some of the um, big like long lines that I do that go that span half the page or something like that. Um, so I wanted to, to show and kind of uh, give an illustration of what that kind of looks like because it's it's going to be difficult to do with angles and yeah just seeing how how I move my body because it's all from shoulder and elbow um, rather than hand movements so not little movements but big arm movements. And it's going to be kind of difficult to show that, so I'm going to try to illustrate it with uh, three different camera views as best as I can. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And uh, we're going to have Ginkgo in frame for this one. In the future, I might have cat cam, just because most of the time Ginkgo is hanging out in my lap, and um, it'd be kind of fun to to see them. And the bed that you see behind me next to my phone, right there, um, Ma Amaro is usually in there, but she is off being a rascal monster somewhere. So, um, and, and later videos, I'm sure you'll see her. But without further ado, let's see what, uh, how I can get this. <laughs> if I can, if I can capture this right, let's, let's see. I also wanted to, uh, show this guy. So this is just one of the little claw grabby things that you can get from uh, like uh, Lowe's or something like that. Uh, so this, I use this all the time when I have a cat in my lap. Cause Ginkgo, he doesn't get up. He just wants to sit and he wants to sit forever. Um, so if you have a cat and you uh, need to grab something that you drop like a pen, uh, this, this comes in extremely handy. So uh, that was just a, a little tidbit that I wanted to throw in here for uh, for funsies. Thanks for humoring me. Hey guys, I'm back. As you can see, I have cat cam right here, which is my phone. And you can see my phone in the background there. Um, Ginkgo in my lap here. So I'm going to try to show my arm movements with that camera as well as hand movements with the camera above me. Um, I do also, I will, sh pfft, shortly, <laughs> I want to make a quick tutorial, tutorial, a quick equipment, um, like PSA or some something like that, um, about these two finger gloves. These come in super handy. These are for tablets. Um, yeah, so for tablet people, or tablet people, for people that draw on tablets, um, it's so it doesn't pick up your hand movement here and doesn't mess you up as you're drawing. But I use them so it doesn't smudge. It, this is also its intended purpose, just a little bit different. So um, in the future, I will post a tutorial uh, equipment review of this. Yeah. But in the meantime, I have one, two, three cameras hooked up, ready to roll. Um, this is the drawing that I'm currently working on. Um, but I'm not going to, because I don't have any big lines to draw in here. I just wanted to have this out to have something to look at when I had the start of the video. But anyway, um, I'm going to replace this piece of paper and... Um, I have a scrap piece of paper that I'm going to draw on and I'm going to try to illustrate with the, my phone camera in the background there, how my arm moves across paper as well as seeing it up top. And I, I'm thinking that will translate well. So we're going to find out. Drawing. Put away. And now there's an Amaro in here yelling at me. I don't know if that's being picked up by my microphone. I hope so, because she's awfully cute. Oh my goodness, Amaro. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. Okay, so... Oh, hang on. I'm gonna... Let's get rid of this for a sec. Nope, not, not that one. She's back there. Sorry. <laughs> she's on the wrong camera. <laughs> she's uh, behind me. There she goes. 
Hey, baby. What you doing? Yeah. I'm gonna move this. Amaru. Amaru. No? No more words? Okay. Well, she's... She's gonna annoy me. She's She's got that face. She's gonna be naughty. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, so... Blank sheet of paper. I'm gonna move that over here just a little bit. I'm gonna make my face go away. Cause uh, you don't need you don't need my face for this part. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how I drag my hand and arm across the paper. Amaru, no, no. I'm going to show <clears throat> how I drag my arm and hand across the paper um, with arm movements rather than hand movements. Um, I might describe that. A little bit better before uh, I actually do it but let's get rid of me first so uh, which one is it uh, it's that one bye so I'm gonna start off with a this is a brush style pen tip so it's it's real big it'll be easy to see any movements that I do there right here I want it to take up too much too much space so a hand movement as I've said is going to be something where you're moving your wrist just your wrist and you can kind of see that in that back camera there so I'm just using wrist and this this gets fatigued really fast I found that after after doing so many lines and it's nice this type of movement is nice for something where you're just doing little shapes this this is just fine movement but if you're doing this a thousand times and you are you gonna leave ginkgo no all right if you're doing this a whole bunch your wrist and I find that my ring finger and pinky lock up a little bit more not lock up lock up's not a good word for it but they get really really um sore and you start cramping and it just it just hurts so what i like to do and again small hand movements just little hand movements and you can get smaller movements if you want and i find sometimes it's even beneficial to just do little with just your fingers. You're not even moving your wrist, which is nice. You're just just using your fingers. So I'm pulling the pen back towards my hand when I'm doing this. And I might go into a little bit deeper on that. But the purpose of this is to show the arm movements like you can see in the back camera there. So again, big pen tips that we can see what I'm doing very well. And uh, let's, let me just show. So we're going to do a big line down here. And you can already see that I'm pulling from my shoulder and my elbow rather than trying to, I'm going to get this just a little closer. There, okay. Yeah, that's a little better. So I'm pulling this from shoulder and elbow rather than trying to manipulate my hand. So. I'm going to tape this down because I found that really, really helps. And I always have a little bit of tape lying around. It's always a good idea to have artist tape. Okay, so I'm going to start way up here at the top and I'm going to pull my line all the way down and give it a little bit of sway to it. So it's going to be kind of an S around this shape that I've already drawn here. And here we uh, here we go, right there. Now I'm going to go all the way at the top because it's... No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's going to be from here. Okay. Here we go. Pen down. And as I pull, I'm moving my wrist just a little bit, but then I lift my arm up and I'm dragging from my arm and elbow. Like that. And again... So now I'm going to make a second line. 
on the outside. So it's going to start here, and I'm going to end it down here. Start, finish. And again, I'm going to, I'm trying to match the same shape, get a nice distance, and then I'm going to do that several times. <clears throat> and hopefully, we'll be able to pick it up into the, or into the, in the camera back there. Um, so I'm going to do this probably three or four times. Start here, and we're going to go from elbow and shoulder. I'm just resting my hand on the on the paper and pulling with my arm. So it has nothing to do with my hand motion, although I am locking, not super stress, but I am locking my hand up so it doesn't move. So it has the same position throughout the whole movement. I'm just dragging it along. And if you're pressing against the paper with your arm, it is creating enough force that you don't have too many shakes or um, ripples in your lines. You don't want to press down so hard that your shoulder starts to cramp up, but you want to have enough force that it, it holds your hand in position. There. I hope that has illustrated over on that side this. I'm going to pause here for a minute, and I'm going to readjust this camera so that maybe we can get a little bit more top-down view of my arm and shoulder. So bear with me for just a minute. Okay, um, I have repositioned the camera a little bit higher so that maybe we can get a top down of this motion. That's more or less what I'm doing. So I'm going to start up here, pull all the way down to there. And I'm going to go on the outside of this. I guess, I don't know why I'm calling this the inside and the outside, but that's how it's going to work. So I'm going to start here, <clears throat> following the same shape, and I'm going to try to blend the starting line away so it doesn't look like I started with this line. I want to, I want to make that disappear into the rest of it. So I'm going to start, again, this is with a, the brush tip, the, the wider tip pen, and I'm going to try to make that disappear. Start up here, and down here, and here we go. One try and make it a little more visible from that that point of view. Okay. One, two, three. Pulling from my shoulder and elbow. You can see my elbow bending as I pull in. And boom. So right here, I don't like that spacing, so I'm going to make that go away. Just like this. Pulling from my shoulder and my elbow, back down and around, boom. Pulling from shoulder, elbow bending, and down. This was a huge game changer. Because before I was just doing a million small shapes, like uh, like this, and that was taxing. For one, it was yeah. For one, it was really taxing on my on my hand. But two, I couldn't get the depth that some of these other shapes, the the bigger lines, can give. So. With doing stuff like this, it opens up possibilities for larger pieces or for um, different patterns, more shapes. Yeah, 
more or less like that. Pulling back towards you rather than just little hand motions. I think I figured this out about maybe four or five years ago. And ever since then, it's been just paving the way for more and more things. Big technique boost. I know there's some people out there that really enjoy just doing the little motions with their hand. So, you know, just drawing stuff like this. And you can really see my, my wrist working and my hand moving and my fingers moving. And that's, this is all fine and good. There's nothing wrong with this. But if you want more flow, more movement, bigger shapes, this is a, this is a great stepping stone to that. If you ever put any lumps or waves, which is, I know it's probably hard to see right here, you can go back in and, and correct that. You can see it pretty easy down here and up here. But that's, that's uh, the basics of, of that or basics. That's that's the idea of this. You take another pen and you go over it and you fill it in and you make it look just fine. That's the really basic uh, thought process behind this and techniques behind this. So it's, there, there's probably more that I'm not remembering to say, which is fine because I can always make another one of these videos because I don't mind doing it. But um, that's the, the overall arc behind uh, making bigger shapes. And I've had so many people ask me or comment that uh, my lines are so smooth and so even um, and how does my hand not cramp and stuff and that's that's more or less it is just big even movements with your more of your body rather than a small portion which in a way kind of adds to an overall piece because now it's not it's like a dance it's you're you're not just moving your feet you're you're moving your whole body with it gets a little more involved, gets a little more personality into it. At least I think. Um, yeah, a good technique, a good, a good stepping stone to other things. Um, I'll probably make another video going over the more fine hand movements, um, the smaller shapes, the easier, easier, the <laughs> easier is kind of a, a silly way to put it. Cause it's, it's more difficult cause you're, you're cramping your hand more but it's, it, you don't require a lot of space to do it. So, um, yeah, at some point I'll go over that. Um, and I'll have, I'll try to have another closer view so that we can see it. Um, let me know in the comments below if the, uh, my phone camera right there, if that helped seeing this movement, um, or if I should, um, do a different angle like this, this to me made the most sense, but if it doesn't help in any, any way, um, or if or if you want to see a different angle, I can do that. And also just let me know if you like seeing the cat cam, because Ginkgo's in my lap sleeping away, and he was moving around a whole bunch, I'm sure, through that whole video. Um, so if you enjoy seeing Ginkgo and other cats, I can always set up the cat cam so that we can see cats while I draw, because there's always at least one in here. I've got four of them, so they're, they're going to be all over the place as much as possible. Thank you. Uh, again, like, subscribe. Find me on the other, all my other uh, social medias. Uh, Instagram, Facebook. Um, I think I have a Threads. Yes, I have a Threads. Uh, TikTok. And I guess YouTube, too, now. So, um, yes. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And um, I'll try to post another video soon. Bye.